Good morning students, how are you all? You have just finished with your PT3 exams and I hope you all have answered your exams very well. And now we will start with the syllabus with our finals. Today we will be doing course book unit 5 lesson 2 easily distracted. Now this story is about a boy who is always distracted with things. He cannot concentrate in any work whatever he does. Now all Harsh Rao's report cards carried the same words in the remark section. In class 1, his teacher had written, good but easily distracted. In class 2, his teacher, who also happened to teach him maths, had this to say, brilliant with numbers but gets easily distracted. And when his mother met the teacher at the end of the year, she was shown his notebooks. The first few sums on the each page were completed neatly and correctly. Then distraction obviously set in and harsh had colored the shapes instead of measuring them or added faces to numbers like 8 and 9 instead of multiplying them and so on. Now the writer says that uh, Harsh is a boy whose report card had the same remark that he is good in studies but easily distracted. Even when he was solving the math sums, he got distracted. Half of the sums he solved properly and then he, instead of multiplying, he did addition. Instead of addition, he did subtraction. Instead of uh, uh, adding the shapes, he colored the shapes. So this is what he used to do in all the subjects. Well, Harsh. When Hush was in class 7 now and things hasn't changed. Now Hush is in class 7 and still the same things continued with him. His mother never sent him to the shop in an emergency because he was sure to forget the eggs and he'd asked for and get distracted by the game marbles going on by the roadside. Now his mother never used to send him to the shop even during emergency cases because he used to get distracted with the children playing their marble. Marble means kanche. So he used to get distracted with them and he used to forget to, that he has to bring eggs. She hasn't forgotten that dreadful embarrassing episode when her friends had dropped in for tea. And one evening unaccounts just when she got everything ready to be served she realized that the sugar jar was empty. Forgetting her son's distraction ways, she hurriedly sent him off to the corner shop for some sugar. And that was the last they saw him for almost two hours. The tea had gone cold and the snacks had been eaten before she called up the store to discover that Harsh had not even reached. The storekeeper, somehow who knew Harsh well, was kind enough to step out of the shop to check and report over the phone and Harsh was busy cheering a game of gully cricket just a few feet from the shop. Now, his mother could not forget the incident that was an embarrassing situation. Embarrassing means Sharnak situation thi, se bahut sharminda hona pada. She was ashamed in front of her friends when her friends had come to the, her house for tea. She made tea, snacks and everything ready but suddenly she saw that there was no sugar in the jar. Now, she forgot that her son is uh, easily distracted and she sent him to the shop. Now after two hours also he did not return and the tea was cold and the snacks were over so she called up the shop and the shopkeeper just looked outside and he informed the mother that he is busy cheering the boys who were playing cricket in the gully. His art teacher complained, art teacher means the drawing teacher that Harsh got so distracted with sharpening his and everybody else's color pencils that he forgot to draw any picture with those perfectly sharpened points. Now the drawing teacher also used to complain that he used to only sit and sharp his color pencils as well as everybody's and instead of drawing the pictures he never used to draw anything only keep on sharpening. 
poor Mrs. Rao could only smile weakly whenever she received the latest report of her son's destruction. As you well imagine, Harsh wasn't immune to the destruction bug on the play field either. Though quite a good bowler, he'd been thrown out of the cricket team for some memorable destruction induced disaster. The whole school still remembered watching that excited cricket match with their arch rivals, Vishweshwar High School. Now, an incident where Harsh, in spite of being a very good bowler in cricket, he was thrown out of the cricket team. The incident is when the, his, their rival team, that is the Vishweshwar High School, they were having a cricket match. Though down to their last batsman, the rivals just had a couple of runs to make to win. When a beautiful catch easily came Harsh's way, almost in slow motion. Now, it was the last batsman who was batting and uh, they could win also, they could lose also and there was an easy catch that came to Harsh in slow motion. The entire school watched as the ball travelled in a gentle arc towards Harsh. It was the easiest catch in the world and could have won the host school the match. Now this was a very easy catch which Harsh could easily catch it and the host school. Host school means their school was hosting the match. They could win the match. But Harsh was in another world. His schoolmates watched in horror as her sat crouched. Crouched means pair pe niche guttene pe ke bal bethne rana jameen par. Peering at something terribly engrossing. Peering at something engrossing means kisi ke tarah, kisi bhi cheez ki tarah gaur se dekhna. Bilkul us mein kho gaya tha wo. On the ground. The crowd let out a low moan as the ball fell unnoticed a foot away from a blissful obviously harsh now the crowd they made a sound reaction when the ball fell just close to harsh the boy who was not aware at all blissfully obviously means who was not aware what happened he was not even aware of the ball landing near him later he confessed only to his closest friend okay confessed means ki during that match what happened and why he missed the catch that he had gotten completely engrossed with an army of ants that were dragging a huge leaf across the ground naturally his friend just sighed and made her swear that he'd never mentioned this ant story to anyone else because he'd certainly get beaten up now his friend uh, told him to swear, swear means kasam khana, ki he will never tell this incident, this story of this ant that he was lost in that ants, that uh, he was lost there in those ants to anybody else. Why? Because the whole school cricket team will beat him up for not catching the ball because of him they lost the match. Which is why his parents decided that a solitary sport, solitary sport means where individually a person khelta hai, like tennis would be better for the child, for the distracted son. At least that way his teammates would not have to pay the price of his distraction and that's how he began tennis classes at the local club. Now his parents decided that he should play some single game so that at least his team will not suffer because of him. And that's how he started playing tennis. Harsh fell in love with the game. In six months, he had become a good at it that he was playing with the older boys and beating them. Without realizing it, his parents had selected a game that had no scope for distraction. In football or hockey, the ball would travel off to the other end of the field, allowing a boy like Harsh to start dreaming about what his mother had made for dinner 
or worse still being inspecting the undersides of some insect on the ground with the tennis the ball just kept returning so quickly there was no chance of the mind to wander and better still the absolutely flat well rolled court didn't offer shelter to any form of insect life now harsh who was a child of easily distraction he used to get distracted where the like in football and in cricket the ball goes rotating everywhere on the ground so he used to get easily distracted thinking what the mother is cooking at home or he used to look at the insect life what was going on on the ground now in the game like cricket uh, like uh, tennis there was uh, a court which was closed so there he could not uh, have any insects on the ground and uh, the ball was coming very quickly to him so he had no time for distraction to think what his mother was busy cooking at home now in a couple of uh, months had started playing very well and he started uh, winning the matches against the senior boys also though harsh was the shortest among those training under his coach his first serve was spectacular spectacular means worth watching he fired the most number of eggs and nobody could ma uh, match his stylish backhand his father got all excited as the club's annual tournament week approached but his mother knew better every week she expected a call from the coach complaining about her son's famous distraction when the call didn't come she somehow got more worried was the co his coach also so distracted that he didn't know what harsh was up to now it was time for the tournament and harsh's father was very excited because harsh was doing very well in the uh, matches being played uh, but the mother was uh, very sure that uh, today or tomorrow definitely complaint is going to come from the coach and every day every week she used to wait but when no complaints came she was worried she thought that the coach is not paying attention at harsh and that is why no complaints are coming one evening harsh came home with a big bruise bruise matlab chot gao on his forehead happening during practice did it his father asked worriedly harsh was vague and evasive not really don't really remember his parents exchanged looks over his head his mother's first thought was that he'd been in a high in a fight and didn't want to talk about it since her son was the youngest at the courts she hoped he wasn't getting bullied a couple of days later she noticed a deep gash on his knee and gently suggested that if he wanted to skip tennis classes for a few days he could but instead on going the next day and the next and the next now one evening when harsh came home there was a wound on his forehead and the mother and father they were worried and they went on asking him now harsh was very evasive and he could not give any proper reply he said yes no yes no i don't remember all such type of answers he was giving so he was not sure and he didn't wanted to tell radha to that how he got that hurt now after a couple of days again he got a hurt on his knee now his mother told him that if you do not want you don't go for tennis you can skip tennis for a couple of days but he wanted to go for tennis as the bruises and cuts increased ab uske jo chot aur jo ghav hai wo badhte chale gaye mrs rao started to panic ab jaise hi ghav badhte chale gaye to uski mother jo hai wo panic hone lagi usko chinta hone lagi she started being worried she became convinced that her son was being bullied अब उनको लगा कि और शी थॉट दैट द अदर सीनियर बॉयज आर बुलिंग हिम बुलिंग हिम मीन्स उसको परेशान कर रहे हैं तंग कर रहे हैं उसको मार रहे हैं और दैट वाइल ट्राइंग टू कीप अप टू द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ द ओल्डर बॉयज ही वॉज पुशिंग हिमसेल्फ टू हार्ड एंड हर्टिंग हिमसेल्फ इन द प्रोसेस शी डिसाइडेड टू फाइंड आउट फॉर हर सेल्फ 
Now his mother decided that she would go and find herself that what was happening with Harsh. While Harsh was still at school, one day she walked across the club. Now it, uh, Harsh had not reached the practice court and he was uh, still in school only and the mother reached the club. The moment she set eyes on the coach, all her worries of the past few weeks bubbled out. Now, as he saw the coach, he started to get out of the coach. चीजें निकलने लगी एक साथ without even the coach could think what she is saying she just went on speaking and she launched herself on a virtual attack virtual attack means शब्दों के बाहर छोड़ना एक साथ बोलते चले जाना of the poor unprepared coach the coach was not prepared he did not even know what she is saying why she is saying the man was speechless he had no idea what Mrs. Rao was talking about. No, he swore Harsh had never been in a fight while the courts. Now he is telling Mrs. Rao, Harsh's mother, that while practice, Harsh had never had fight with anybody. He was beating the older boys in tennis so easily, he didn't really have to struggle to push himself to the limits as Mrs. Rao imagined. Now, the coach told that in uh, tennis, he was performing so well that the older boys were losing against him. So, he didn't have to worry about anything. In fact, Harsh was guaranteed to win the club junior tennis trophy with hardly any effort. Now, the coach said that it is sure, it is 100% that he is going to win the trophy also. The coach face lit up, eyes maybe that was the reason. Harsh interested had now been taken up by high jump. Tennis no longer held any change for him, challenge for him, the coach felt. In fact, he was about to suggest that maybe Mrs. Rao's ought to think of shifting Harsh to a more professional tennis academy where they could take the talent much further, where the poor man was rudely interrupted. High jump, squeaked Mrs. Rao. What high jump? She asked completely aghast. Now, the coach wanted to tell Mrs. Rao that uh, I think he is interested in high jump. So better you send him to a higher academy where his tennis can also be monitored properly and uh, or shift him to high jump, uh, another game. But before even the co coach could give explanation to what he wanted to say, the Harsh's mother, she started bouncing over him that what high jump, what type of high jump, what do you mean? I don't know anything about high jump. The coach looked even more confused. Harsh has been finished for, uh, finishing the tennis practice early because he says he has to go for high jump practice too. Didn't you know about it, Mrs. Rao? The look on the poor lady's face told him that she didn't know but was soon going to find out. Now the coach told her that he is to finish the tennis practice fast and he is to go for high jump practice. And Mrs. Dow was like shocked because she did not know anything about it. But she decided that she would soon find out. On her way home, Mrs. Dow was furious. How could he, she think her interest in tennis would last a while more? Of course, the distraction bug was bound to catch up with him sooner or later. Now, that as her, Mrs. Uh, Rao was returning home, she was thinking that uh, how could she, she forget that her son is such a distracted bug he has got in him that he will be easily distracted and he cannot play tennis longer. Now, and it had with a sudden interest in high jump right in the middle of tennis classes. She uh, dread facing her husband disappointment when he learnt that his budding tennis champ had abandoned his racket for the high jump pit. Now Mrs. Rao, she was a little scared. She didn't want to know how she would be facing the husband because when he will come to know that his budding, their budding champion had forbidden a tennis racket in place of high jump. 
that evening when harsh limped in with yet another bump on his on him from yet another mysterious fall or fight his mother confronted him now ab agle din fir he came with a hurt so mother started asking him questions what is all this i hear about high jump practice she said catching him totally off guard it was harsh turned to look shocked then the look uh, turned to one of guilt oh i wanted to tell you about it but it just slipped my mind he trailed off but his mother was in no mood for evasive answers that night and slowly she extracted an account from him for each and every bruise on his body now harsh's mother she just caught hold of him and started cross questioning him but harsh was like he was not wanting to give a proper answer he said oh i wanted to tell you about the high jump and this and that and all but harsh's mother was very annoyed and she didn't want any hear and their answer she just wanted a straight forward and clear answer from harsh You remember that Wimbledon semi-final when Marat Safin threw his racket into the air after he won. Now Harsh started explaining that uh, he started telling his mother, "Do you remember that semi-final match when the player uh, threw his when he won the match? He threw his racket in the air." He asked his mother. Mrs. Dow nodded, wondering that what had to do with his her son. Now she started. surprise what is that tennis player got to do with the with harsh harsh continued after i started beating everyone on the court i got quite boring really really boring so i started fooling around and the coach gave me a solid lecture on the price of getting distracted his mother looked surprised and then confused where was all this leading to she wondered now he says that uh, as i started winning the match very easily i was feeling boring and my coach gave me a big lecture on being distracted so harsh mother did not understand like what he is wanting to say so one day while watching a replay of safin's famous racket throwing harsh looked wistful as he spoke i thought was was the point of winning all those club matches if i haven't a winning style now he says when i was watching the replay matches uh, of tennis uh, i thought that what is the sense of my winning when i do not have a winning style like when i win the match i should have a style you know like throwing the racket in the air safin style or banging shoulders like pace and bhupati used to do when they were friends and played mixed doubles as partners he trailed off speechlessly now he started explaining all this that how he saw that all the winners those who win the won the match how they used to have a style a look of understanding dawned on his mother's face and she had to struggle to surprise sup, uh, suppress her smile now mother realized that what harsh was wanting to say and what he was trying to do she wanted to laugh but then somehow she controlled her laughter she finished the sentence for him so that first bruise was on your head was when the racket you threw up fell on your head so now the mother tried to complete the sentences that first time when you got hurt on your head was that when you tried to throw the racket in the air harsh nodded sadly but before his mother could ask about the other bruises and gashes he continued then i realized that the racket broke papa wouldn't be too thrilled about spending on another so i decided on another winning stunt now harsh said he yes uh, i did that and then but uh, then i realized that if my racket breaks so dad will not be very happy and he will not buy me another racket so he decided to have something other some other stunt his mother couldn't resist snapping 
you are absolutely right papa would certainly have not replaced a racket that had been intentionally tossed in the air just for the sake of style harsh winced as though he could still feel the pain of that knock from his descending racket now uh, mother said that of course you are right my father will not buy you another racket which you have purposely broken now looking his feet he said i had seen another unknown player leap over the net after he'd won a match on the australian open he made it look so easy but when i tried i kept falling now har says that he when he was watching the matches he saw that an australian player after winning the match had jumped over the net so he says it looked very easy for me so i also tried to do the same but when i was trying again and again i used to fall it looked all mrs rao self control not to burst out laughing right there now mrs rao was trying to control her laughter but she maintained her composure somehow keeping a straight face so that why you are going to for high jump practice she asked innocently now she says that's why you have been going for high jump practices harsh nodded but with a look of total defeat confessed total defeat means wo bilkul usse ka yes yahi kaaran hai but he had a total defeat defeat means wo bilkul hara hua tha because he was unable to jump but ma i am not good at it high jump i mean the tournament is only a week away and i still can't jump over the net harsh looked dejected नाउ वो बिल्कुल अब हार मान गया उसे इसकी एक हफ्ता बच्चा हुआ है और मैं अभी तक भी जंप नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ मिसिज राव थॉट फॉर अ मोमेंट शी हैड टू कम अप विद अ सोल्यूशन दैट हर सन कंसिडर्ड एक्सेप्टेबली एंड दैट वुड पुट अ स्टॉप टू ऑल द ब्रूसेज एंड बम्स अब मिसिज हर्ष जो थी वो शी वॉन्टेड दैट शी हैव सम कंक्लूजन अदरवाइज उसका जो बेटा ही विल नॉट बी एबल टू play properly he will not be able to concentrate on the match it was a tough one unlike all past cases of distraction at least this time hush was still well within the field of tennis maybe she had to thank marit safin for it that gave her an idea and her perking up saying I remember one US Open Harsh when Nadal won a match he took off his shirt and threw it into the crowd how would that for a stylish winning stunt Harsh was silent as he thought over the mother's suggestions now uski mother jo hai wo usko suggest karti hai ki we can do one thing i had seen a match and i saw that in the the, the player he took off his shirt and he threw in the air so why don't you try out with that because she knew if he no decision will be conclusion will be taken then he will be distracted he had enough of the bruises earned while practicing victory leaps over the net so he was all ready to try out anything now harsh jo tha uske already kafi chote lag chuki thi so he was ready to try out something else but was shirt removal as dramatic as leaping over the net अब उसको लगा कि क्या ये उतना ही ड्रामेटिक लगेगा बींग एन आर्डेंट फैन ऑफ नेडल्स ही वॉज रेडी टू डू एनी थिंग हीज हीरो डिड अब क्योंकि वो उस प्लेयर का फैन था तो ही सेट कि ओके आई विल डू वॉट ही डिड बट वुड द ओल्डर बॉयज लाफ एट हिम अब उसको लगा कि कहीं दूसरे प्लेयर्स जो हैं वो हंसेंगे तो नहीं उसके ऊपर Finally, he made up his mind. He'd pull off the shirt stunt only if he won the finals. Yes, looking relieved, he said, "Yeah, ma, that sounds great." Mrs. Rouse sent up a silent prayer in thanksgiving. She wondered if all the cuts, bruises, and gashes her son had suffered in the course of his later distraction would finally cure him from his <coughs> crazy tendencies. but she knew it was too much to hope for now finally he agreed ki okay main ye is tarah ka stunt kar lunga and jab wo ready ho gaya raji ho gaya and he went to his room mrs rao gave a thanksgiving prayer ki at least uska solution to hua but 
शी न्यू कि समवेयर आगे चल के उसको वापस कोई ना कोई नई प्रॉब्लम होगी बिकॉज शी वॉज अवेयर दैट हर सन विल बी इजिली डिस्ट्रैक्टेड विद समथिंग एल्स Now with this we have finished the chapter I will be sending you the question answers if any doubts you can call me